All right, and we are back in the time loop again, recorded immediately after the previous episode. Uh, well, simply put, when that signal went out to somewhere vaguely in Italy, Dexter sent out two groups. His, uh... He, Samurai Jack, and, um... Number one, set out to the southern end of Italy. And he sent his other group of, uh... Allies to the other half. We join, uh... A Lamborghini search party at Mugello. And so as such we have Bubbles, I'm playing as Blossom, and Buttercup. Also we have Burn and Amy. Couldn't find Grease Lightning though. But we almost have the numbers advantage here for once. So Mugello in this game, compared to Assetto Corsa, is actually noticeably thinner. Like, the track isn't nearly as wide. It's still pretty wide, yeah, but it's... I would say probably like a meter or two less than, um... on Assetto Corsa. Again, I moved the difficulty up in between races, so if I run away from these AI, like I did the ones in the previous race, then we're going to be in for an interesting event. Not that the AI are better in GT4 cars than they are in GT3 ones, but still, I don't know, is this much of a difference? I broke early for that. Otto and Governor did witness um, the big crash, but it's like Otto's gonna say anything about it. And the Governor could, but he just for reason hasn't. So I'm telling why that might be. Unfortunately, I myself in the series am too busy at, at uh, Walkins Glen right now, or otherwise that would be right on top of all of this. Just Nittery and I, in and out of the time loop context, are pretty tightly knit. But it simply, um, despite only knowing of her existence for the last four or five months, the character itself, Nittery, has become one of my uh, all-time favorites. Up there with uh, Shadow, Amy, and um. Well, for video game characters, anyway, Shadow and Amy, and then... For, uh, X for not video games, up there with, um... With Wreck-It Ralph and, uh... Um, Blossom and Buttercup. Oh, don't ever touch that red area. Okay. You gotta try and stay off the red. Where's Ryan starting to tell me that now, huh? 
It's a little thinner, but it's, it's not really like a drastic difference. Uh, Bubbles in that ugly yellow monstrosity of Lamborghini are still kind of hanging on there, like three-ish seconds away. I think they only got as close as they have simply because of the fact that I nearly blew up just now. Look at those S curves. early again. Lesson learned. Holy cow. Don't ever touch the red area. The curve might be fine, but the red part isn't. Oh, my tires are getting hot. Luckily, nighttime will remedy that. Up is significantly faster. Headlights time. I have overcooked it a little bit. Those pretty colors. <laughs> I can imagine how it looked behind the track there. Just gonna get a look at it here. What did the track look like from that end? Beyond turn one. Yeah, if only- well, the sunrise is gonna look nice, actually, you need to remember that. And like 12, 13 in-game minutes to look, uh... Look in that direction for the sunrise, because that's gonna look, uh... Like, great as heck. I... Great speaking, me. I swear I'm good at this whole commentary thing. And I just quickly plunge into darkness, is the track. See, well, Dexter might be the type to be, uh, astonished and, uh, respective of Vittery's engineering abilities. I feel like Blossom would be the type to be a little jealous because there's a new smart girl in town. It's not just her anymore. Do 
Juno theoretically would kind of play the nittery in this situation. She would probably end up playing it off like she's, you know, like all nice and impressed by the fact that she's such a, a whiz with with a crowbar and a wrench. Granted, that's not exactly Blossom's kind of knowledge. She's more like, you know, well-read, well-spoken, well-thought-out plans, and it's generally book smart. Whereas Nittery's, most of Nittery's book smarts come from reading assembly manuals. Just that there's somebody else smarter than her, or even as smart as her, might get the little redhead a little heated. But who knows, really? It doesn't look like an asker. <laughs> Crap. It's all fine. Recovered. <laughs> Bubbles is definitely trying her darndest to keep up with her sister here, but... Blossom is smoking today. Of course, all three of the sisters, as well as Burn, have experienced Magello before. Not the best curb to be hitting. These long corners are kind of weird to get a perfect line with. I kind of did there, though, I'll be honest. This track will always take them back to the uh, my old Ford as a Motorsport 2 and 4 days. I used to be a Microsoft kid. But then Twisted Metal PS3 came out, and I went back to Sony. And that is where I have been sitting. This is a slap stack, so... Quite well. Just all of the curbs. Oh. Luckily, most of the curbs in this track just kind of seem to give you a bit of a pushy reminder like, don't bug me. Don't interfere, I'm sunbathing. <laughs> I 
It's distant headlights. I'm sorry, that looks more like Hungary, like the Hungarian flag out there, not the Italian one. Another 53. We started at 2 in the afternoon, so should be getting close to 4 in the morning right now. I did not break enough for that, but it does not matter. Bit of a conservative sector, all things considered. I'm not exactly in a rush here. I have a pretty good lead over Bubbles back there. Wonder if Buttercup's improved her standing much by this point, though. See the sky begin to change colors pretty soon, and the uh, sunrise will be there to greet me at the beginning of the next lap, I would have to think. Hello. do with no headlights. Well, it's kind of it's kind of lit up here anyway, so oh, I'm not here though. Maybe just not. I don't know Mugello that well. the Congo line back there. Alright, isn't my problem. Okay, there is no sunrise yet. Which means I probably will not be able to see it very well. This would be my luck. It would probably start rising as soon as I get to Sector 2. Oh, no, it's starting right now, actually. That's even worse, but... The other cars will get to see it. If I don't. So you know this race is boring when um I'm anticipating the sunrise. Okay, turn. See the uh, dark purples turn into uh, light yellows. 
Just absolutely nail this turn. Absolutely nail this turn. <laughs> Oh, the sunrise is over there! Son of a... See, I would have been sitting behind those mountains, but it certainly didn't look like it. I look better when I get clear of the stupid fence. Still look nice, to say the least. Um, barely see the headlights at this point. Oh, ain't your fastest lap. I need to break here, I don't know what I'm doing. This would be what, 10 a.m. right now? My god. Quiet, I'm a shutter bug. Don't question it. I don't get to see many nice looking landscapes and sunrises in real life. I live in a basement. I'm good, but I'm good, I'm good, but <laughs> no, I wasn't panicking. Shush.
Another conservative uh, section there. Oh, the sun's out, the track's gonna heat up, and my tires are going to feel it if I don't go a little softer. I'd like you to be aware that those temperatures on the tires are marked in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Oh, hi, Curb. I think they're Celsius. I'm not sure. There's a lot of random stuff here. Let's watch these temperatures go up. We can even see them. Yeah, there it is. The, uh... I think that's the inner part of the tire. That is, uh, currently burning alive. No, that's... I'm self-employed. I don't get paid for working overtime. Damn it. <laughs> That's exactly what the Powerpuff Girls are going to be doing here. And Burn and Amy. That's wonder, who's the head of that conga line back there? I would laugh if it were Burn. I can actually check once I get out of this turn. Amy's the next car in it. Immediately after, or two cars after is Burn, and then two cars after that is Buttercup. This guy didn't start here, by the way. Fun fact, Bubbles and Buttercup are the only two drivers that share a number. They're both the six car. Oh, hi, Curb. Alright, in an absolutely dominating fashion, possibly a 12 second gap, Blossom will take a resounding victory. At a, a new track for Time Loop, 
although not new to time, not new to Universe Zero as a whole. Apparently, should have been in second through there. See how hot the tire is there. Didn't get any cooler either. Weird, like, rotation thing it does if you're not steering, right? So it's a pop of Girls double podium. And you will take fifth, burn seventh, and... Murder Cup is ninth, but she didn't really start very well, so... Is yours just pretty much over from like turn one? Oh my god. I don't know why Bubbles' car is like permanently blurry. I don't know. I have the camera focused on her and everything. I'm just putting the camera on me gonna fix it then? No. So that'll be it for this episode of City Universe Zero. Time loop. Um, technically still is Universe Zero, so it wouldn't really be wrong per se. But anyway, you reached uh, the magic sixty.
And as the two search parties converge on the correct Italian course, there aren't any other ones left, so kind of would have to be this one at this point.